Hello everybody and welcome back to Genealogy Sucks. Today I'm going to be introducing you to my grandfather and doing a little bit of an interview with him at his home. Um, my hope is that I can get some information from him about his childhood, uh, his parents, um, any family history stories or anything he may have to pass along. Uh, the problem we may come into with this is that he has Alzheimer's and he is 92 so he uh, might not remember things the same way that they were. They might not be fully accurate, but we're going to try it. Let's go. Okay guys, so I just finished interviewing with my grandfather and I just wanted to um, make a quick disclaimer. I got to their house a little bit later in the day than I intended because of some errands that I had to run. And um, some of his answers are cyclical, um, but I have no intention of editing it out. Um, which is the reason for the length of the video. This is what Alzheimer's disease is, and it's very much a part of um, my life and my relationship with my grandfather as it is today. So um, I'm sorry for the length. I'm sorry if any of my family members are offended that I didn't edit out his repetition, but this is my grandpa and I love him just exactly how he is he's my very best friend so I love you guys all so much and I hope you enjoy the interview all right hi everybody this is my grandpa and we are going to uh, have a little conversation and um, you'll get to know a little bit more about our family uh, go ahead and introduce yourself okay my name is Frank Eugene Mestandria. Right. And did you have any nicknames growing up? Yeah. Yeah. Wiener. <laughs> how did you get the nickname Wiener? I don't know how I got that name. No. Huh. Right. But I got it. But you got it. <laughs> did you have any nicknames as an adult? No. No. And where were you born and when? I was born in Elwood City, Pennsylvania. And when's your birthday? 11, 11, 26. So that makes you 92. Correct. Yeah. And were you baptized? I was. As a Catholic, right? Correct. Yeah. And... Your first home, you said, was in Elwood City, Pennsylvania, then? Elwood City, Pennsylvania. That's where I was born. And when did you move to Ohio? Mm, when I was an infant. Okay. Um, and how many places have you lived? Um, just uh, Pennsylvania and Ohio. Yeah. You guys have owned a lot of homes because Grandma's a... Realtor, so she's yes, yes, yes. We she's moved, bought and sold. We moved around a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of your earliest memories? Mm. Growing up as a kid, my dad came from Italy. He never could speak English very well. We lived on Newman Street and he would pronounce it aluminum. We lived on aluminum street. <laughs> it was embarrassing sometimes, but he was a good old man. Yeah. He knew his way around. We'd walk we'd we'd walk uptown and He'd talk to everybody on the street. Yeah. And 
um, where we live, there was streets kind of for every everybody from different countries. So one street was Italian families, right? And then... Yeah, there were neighborhoods like Italian yeah. neighborhoods and German mm -hmm. neighborhoods and that sort of thing. Is, yeah. is your house from Newman Street still standing? Do you know? Uh, to my knowledge, it's still there. Okay. I've not been there for years. And how many siblings do you have? Well, let me see. Or did you have, I guess? I have to figure out. I had a younger brother that had cataracts. And, um, Was that Richard? Richard, yeah. And he passed away when he was about 10 years old. From what? Do you know? He got pneumonia. And um, I had, let me see, a sister, Dolores, was older than I. A sister, Nancy, was younger than I. And Almeretta was the youngest. Mm -hmm. And you and, and Raymond. And Raymond. Raymond was brother. younger. I had a brother, Raymond. Yeah. yeah. And um, do you have any memories or stories about your siblings you remember and want to tell? Mm. Uh, nothing in particular. Uh, Just no. my my brother Richard was uh, had cataracts. He yeah. was, he was uh, blind. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, what was dinner time like growing up? Um, Mom actually mentioned to me she had discussed with you recently uh, dinner time growing up. Your table setting as Italians is a little bit different than what the traditional American family has now. Yeah, we we had uh, a lot of spaghetti at the dinner table and and uh, salad. We always had a lot of salads and uh, wine. My dad used to make wine, grape wine. We had. Uh, raised our own grapes and he would buy grapes and he'd make like 50 gallon barrels of wine every year. We always had wine at the dinner table. Yeah. And so you guys probably never really went out without food. No, no. No. We always had food. My dad, uh, my dad was a bartender. Really? Yeah. And uh, he would go to the he would go to the slaughterhouse where they butchered meat and beef and cows and he'd the guys there at the slaughterhouse would give him a, he'd take a half bushel basket and They'd fill it up to the bottom of it with uh, good cuts of meat and <laughs> cover the top with spare ribs. <laughs> and um, of course, he was a bartender, and, and any time they went to the bar, he always gave them free drinks. Right. So he got treated very well at the slaughterhouse. Yeah, we always had fresh meat on the table. Yeah. Uh, mm. my, dad, my dad couldn't speak very good English. Yeah. He came here from Italy. And they spoke Italian just yeah, so that you didn't know what was going my on. My parents right? spoke Italian. 
So we, and as kids, we didn't understand what they were saying, you know, and they'd talk in Italian when they didn't want us to know what they were talking about. <laughs> and Graham was, uh, your mother was much younger than your dad. She was... Yeah, she was, she was younger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she was um, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And of course, my dad was from Italy. Right, he came here. He came here as an 18-year-old kid. Never could speak very good English. Yeah. Um, He'd tell people, we lived on Newman Street. He'd say, tell them we lived on Aluminum Street. <laughs> Um, did you, where'd you go to school? I, I went to grade school. I went to uh, Newman School. Was right in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I walked to school. Then in, I went to junior high at John Simpson. And uh, then senior high yeah. in Malabar. And you graduated all through 12th, you went through 12th grade? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I graduated from 12th grade. I didn't go to college. Uh, you joined the military? I joined the Navy, yeah. yeah. What was your time in the Navy like? Uh, well... Uh, I, I, I got on a ship, a troop transport ship uh, called the William P. Biddle. And uh, we could haul like 500, 500 troops, 500 Marines or soldiers. And we had... Uh, landing boats that uh, would put over the side side of the ship and then they, we had cargo nets that would hang over the side of the ship and the troops would climb down those cargo nets and get into the landing boats and the landing boats were mm, about 20 foot long they, they could get 20 or 30 guys in one of those landing boats and then run in on the beach and drop the front end down and troops would run off the landing boats and they'd run back up and run back out and get another load. And that's kind of like how, well, my generation probably associates that picture with like the beaches of Normandy and things, yeah, but yeah, you were yeah, in yeah, the Pacific yeah, Theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so you were in, you were in like Guam and that yeah. area, right? Guam and Anahuitoc, um, in those islands in the South Pacific. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how did you meet Grandma? Well, let me see. I have to stop and think. I think um, my brother was going, was dating her sister. That sounds right, because they were married. <laughs> and uh, I was in the service in the Navy. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I came home on leave one time and I met her and uh, we fell in love. <laughs> and then when did you, well you obviously got married after the war. Uh, yeah. Do you need a second? Yeah. Do you need yeah. a break? Well, I don't remember too much about our courtship, but 
I proposed to her and she accepted. To much regret. <laughs> <laughs> if she was in this room right now, she'd be hitting you, but she's doing filing. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and then how many kids did you guys have? I know this answer, but I'm not You gonna, do? Yeah, but I'm not going to say it. Well, let's see. I don't know if I can remember. You have... Four. Four. You have Jeff. Jeff and Craig, Tim, and Jane. And Jane is my mom. Mm-hmm. And were you the... She's the youngest. She's the youngest. She's the baby. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to interview her probably in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. Were you the strict parent or the, the laid back parent? I think I was laid back. Yeah. 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 I know. I, I know for a fact you were. I, we, I was easy going. I, yeah. I wasn't very strict. Yeah. No. They couldn't do much wrong. <laughs> no. Especially mom, probably. Not my kids. <laughs> <laughs> and so what were your parents' names? Uh, my f dad's name was Francesco. And my mother's name was Anne Marie. And... My father was from Italy, came here as an 18-year-old young man. And he served in World War I mm -hmm. in the Army. And my mother was uh, from Pittsburgh. She had, uh, I think, two brothers. Uh, no sisters. Okay. And, um, let's see, I think, I, I'm flipping back and forth through my notebook because I have so many questions written, um, but I'm mm -hmm. going to fast forward to now because I think this is going to be a really important and interesting part. Um, how is the world different now from when you were growing up? Well, I have to think about that a minute. When I was growing up, we were in a world war was World War One And the Great Depression. During the Depression, mm -hmm. yeah. And then it was World War Two. That was with Japan. World War One was in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad fought in uh, World War One. He was in the he was in the army. He w was part of a machine gun battalion. So I had a couple of guys that would carry the ammunition for the machine gun, and then they had guy that was the machine gunner. My dad was one of the guys that carried the ammunition. Okay. Uh, my dad could, could not speak very good English. He was from Italy and spoke very broken English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we, Graham did too. She spoke pretty broken English, from what well, I've been told. Well, she, not as bad. She was she was American born. She was born here in this country, and and she she spoke pretty good English. But my dad was very broken. He'd we lived on Newman Street. He'd tell everybody we lived on Aluminum Street. <laughs> 
but there were different words yeah. that he'd he'd mispronounce. He, he, he just couldn't couldn't handle it. Yeah. And but he was a he was a good father uh, and husband and. Always had uh, food on the table. Yeah. He used to go to the slaughterhouse and they'd he'd take a half bushel basket with him and they'd fill the bottom of the basket with good cuts of meat and cover the top with spare ribs and other less desirable cuts of meat. But he was a bartender, and these guys would go to the bar, and he always gave them free drinks, and mm -hmm. so they treated him well when he went went to the slaughterhouse. Yeah. He always came home with good cuts of meat, and he did all right. Knew his way around. He couldn't speak very good English, but he got along. Yeah. Well, he did good with you, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. I think he's your trouble, but even though you're trouble, I still like you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting me take a video of you talking, Grandpa. That's okay. Thank you. I love you. I love you, too.